first on the night team tonight, phasing back some taxes, investing in education like K through 12 and some help for seniors. Governor Gina Raimondo's first budget address. Hi everyone, I'm Dan Janik. Patrice is off tonight. We carried it live here on NBC 10 for you and NBC 10 political reporter Bill Rapley was there. He's live at the State House now to break it all down for you. Bill? Well, Dan, there sure was a lot of optimism in the State House this evening. It Gina Raimondo's budget address was talking about making Rhode Island a leader, not a laggard, but she had to do quite a bit of manipulation to balance this budget with a $190 million deficit. First of all, she wants to turn to Medicaid to save $46 million out of that program alone. She says she's also going to refinance state debt to save another $64 million and then, with some of that money, invest $44 million in the new Commerce Department. But the most important thing probably tonight is that it seems like most of the General Assembly is with her. And I could not ask for better partners than the Speaker and the Senate President, and together we're going to get this done. Thank you for your support. The governor showed impeccable manners in the General Assembly chamber, and they responded. They seemed to like her proposed investments, like the $20 million in a school building authority, which will make jobs. Well, it's good for the teachers who teach there, it's good for the kids that have to go to school there, and it's good for the workers, and it's good for the whole economy because it puts money back into our economy. And then there's the infrastructure fund she intends to set up with $2 million. That one-time $2 million allocation will allow us to put people back to work on 30 to $40 million worth of projects in the coming years. For future growth, she's investing in full-day kindergarten and bigger college scholarships. But Republicans don't like her plan to support Health Source RI with fees on people who qualify for subsidized health care, even if they get insurance elsewhere. So if they're not using Health Source and getting their health care somewhere else, they're going to be taxed. That isn't fair. You're, you are balancing that particular budget on the backs of, of people who can't afford it. But mostly the room was excited by this new governor. It's having a leader that is not afraid to take on very difficult challenges that others might shy away from. And by the end of the speech, legislators seemed to share her vision. Let's be part of the team that's known for restoring confidence in government because we show people government can work and deliver results and solve problems and get them back to work. Let's do that together. So it's all milk and honey up here tonight. We'll see what becomes controversial as this budget gets examined and fleshed out. And for example, the Raimondo administration explains how they're going to save all those millions of dollars on Medicaid. But for now, it seems like the lawmakers want to be part of this team and proud of Rhode Island. I'm Bill Rapley, NBC 10 News Live outside the State House.